Well, by this time tomorrow, we will know former Mayor Catherine Pugh's punishment for her role in the Healthy Holly book scheme. The 69 year old faces the potential of several years in prison. WJZ right now is live outside federal court, and Paul Gessler has a look at what is expected to happen tomorrow. Paul. Well, we expect a lot of people to be in the courtroom, Denise. If letters to the judge are any indication, a lot of people are expected to speak on Pew's behalf before the court. Lawyers are arguing for anywhere between one and five years in prison. Catherine Pugh will appear again in federal court Thursday, as she did three months ago, when she pleaded guilty to several charges stemming from the selling of her self-published children's books. Prosecutors are asking for about five years for the former Baltimore mayor, saying her scheme showed a significant breach in public trust. Her lawyers are asking for one year and one day in prison. If you've lived 69 or 70 years and this is the first time you've ever been in a criminal courtroom, that's going to be very much in the, in the former mayor's uh, favor. University of Maryland law professor Doug Colbert says the judge will weigh her guilty pleas with her public service, but a message needs to be sent to other public officials. One of the most important parts of punishment is to deter future misconduct of the same kind. And we are seeing too much uh, corruption among our public officials. The prosecution laid out how Pew sold and resold her children's books in a seven-year scheme totaling $860,000, receiving checks in the six figures and making illegal donations to her campaign. 71 people wrote letters to Judge Deborah Chazanow asking her to show leniency Thursday at sentencing, including numerous church friends at Bethel AME, neighbors in Ashburton and two of Pew's brothers. She absolutely should speak tomorrow. She has a lot to apologize for and uh, and others will speak on her behalf to point out all of the accomplishments she has achieved. Back live now outside federal court among those who wrote letters in Pew's defense attorney pre-sentencing documents to be sent to the judge included former city mayor Kurt Schmoke, congressional candidate Kwasi Mfume, and Morgan State University presidents past and present. Reporting live outside federal court, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ. And WJZ, of course, will be in court tomorrow for former Mayor Pew's sentencing. We will bring you full coverage and reaction once it happens.